some guy in a truck just pulled up and it looks like he's clipping his toes in the parking lot. Not sure what that's about. So uh, to anyone who's been watching the channel over the last few days, this will come as no surprise whatsoever, but I have yet again, another recruiting event that I have to go to. My welcome Matt. you can't tell because it's super wet, but it does say go away also. Um, before I get all existential though about my own ineptitude and talking to new people, I have to watch cadets do a paintball thing to get people to join i don't i don't know i was just told when to show up the last time i did paintball was with my platoon way back where i was a platoon leader and i got shot where no man should be shot so i still have some negative connotations i need to work through and and do some self-therapy on not self-therapy that sounds wrong anyway and if the pants look familiar in that picture it's because it's the exact same pair, which really is just adding to the horrible flashback experience. Apparently they wanted to reenact a civil war battle, so they're just gonna line up, walk towards each other and shoot. I, I filmed that uh, a few days ago and I completely lost where I was going with that. So we're just gonna talk about something else that makes more sense in my brain right now. Uh, we're gonna talk about what my thoughts are on the, the college experience, seeing as I now work at a college and didn't actually get one, according to some people. But I'm not gonna fill it here because some guy in a truck just pulled up and it looks like he's clipping his toes in the parking lot. Not sure what that's about. Um, but I'm gonna go find somewhere else to talk about this. Ever since I graduated college, I've always been asked, do I regret not getting the full college experience? Which is really just code for, do you feel like you missed out on arting and getting drugged all the time? And while I count up by saying I did do those things, I will reiterate what I always say in regards to this topic. College ruled is both a type of paper and something that losers say. When you get to my age in your later 20s, it's the equivalent of college kids bragging about what they did in high school. Like, I'm not really impressed that you were a frat for two years or how long could you be on the keg stand when you were 19 years old. It's like, dude, we have mortgages and 401ks now. That's the stuff that I'm more concerned about. Um, it happened again. It's like, it's like two days since I shot that. And, uh, but I remember what I was gonna talk about this time also if you notice i'm trying to do more shots like not in my apartment uh like every other video i do and i don't know how these tiktok people do it because i feel super self-conscious just setting up a tripod and just talking about it let alone dancing and pretending like i'm singing i don't know i just gotta harness the energy that everyone else is an npc i'm the only real human being on this earth see i made the mistake of re-downloading skyrim so that's basically owned my attention for the last two, three days, which means I'm behind on everything I need to do and classes start on Monday. Today is Saturday. I don't know when this video will be coming out, but the day I'm filming it is Saturday. And so I'm going to use this to talk about what I was gonna talk about while doing what I needed to be doing in order to not get fired and to like clean my apartment and stuff. So come along with me as we embark on this journey. As it stands, these are the things that I need to get done today. I need to prep all of my lessons for the week. I need to go to the gym. I need to clean my apartment and I need to put this video together. So come with me as we accomplish all of those tasks. Also, this is Miso. So back to, did I feel like I missed out on college? No, because also with the typical college experience, I didn't have to have a job, everything was paid for, and so it was both easier and harder in other ways. And no one believes me when I say this, but I mean it wholeheartedly. If I had just gone to a normal college, I would probably just be some fat alcoholic living with my mom right now. Uh, but good news, I was productive and I did finish the lessons for next week. And this is the slide that I'm using to introduce myself to my new students. And it is kind of weird with such a small age gap. I feel like it was just yesterday I was their age taking those classes. And so the imposter syndrome I have at work sometimes is almost overwhelming because not only am I mistaken for a student 24 seven, I feel like I have to work a little extra hard to have that buy-in because I'm so young and my other coworkers are all in their forties. So it's easy to look at them and understand that they have experience, but it's harder to look at me and say, oh yeah, that guy who looks like he could be my older brother, 
he knows what he's talking about. But I do. I do know what I'm talking about, okay? I'm really good at this stuff. You just have to trust me. Now, I always say that I'm not going to, you know, film gym stuff, uh, but I might today just to show what I'm doing and continue to talk about what I've been talking about. I had to go to my backup gym because the school gym is closed for some reason on Saturdays. I feel like this town is just trying to inconvenience me. This is like the third time this week I've showed up somewhere and it was closed and I had to just leave. Like I was some kind of fool. They've turned me into some kind of buffoon here. I hate, I hate leg day. It's always just like a discipline check to see if I actually do all the workouts I'm supposed to, but I did. I, I even did two calf workouts. I know they're not gonna grow, but it, it at least made my soul feel a little better. Yeah, for cleaning, all I really had to do was load the dishwasher, so uh, yeah, I guess we're done. Guess that's the end of the video. <laughs>